Hey guys, it's me, Paul. I'm back here on YouTube vlogging. I was checking my channel and it's been four years since the last time I actually made a vlog and shared it here. Back then I was in Grease the Musical and in Fame in Germany doing a tour. So this video is going to be a bit of an introduction to a new vlogging chapter on this channel. I'm going to give a bit of a recap of everything that has happened in the last four years. I'll try to be, yeah, uh, concise yet give you an idea of everything that has happened and um yeah then we're gonna see where this channel goes to um back then i was uh as i said in greece the musical doing a tour in germany uh switzerland and austria and also doing fame in kiel uh during the tour I met my now ex-boyfriend, Julien. Uh, we had a wonderful connection and a beautiful relationship of three and a half years. He lives in Germany. I live in Holland. And uh, yeah, we shared a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw him every now and then. And uh, the adventures we were on, uh, I really love him. I love his family and uh, we had a wonderful time together. I'm really sad it didn't work out, um, but well, I mean, life happens and who knows. Um, yeah, after I was done with the tour, I got back to Holland and uh, I had actually been accepted into a musical theater agency in London, which, you know, the plan was to, to go there and start a new chapter. But I had been accepted into a TV program called Dance Sing from the channel SBS6 here in Holland. And I thought, well, you know, okay, why not? I've always wanted to do, you know, one of these talent programs. I'll do that and then I'll go to London. Well, my whole life changed after that program. Um, my audition song, Stay With Me, which I did half English, half Spanish, went viral in Venezuela and in other parts of South America. Um, I gained a bunch of followers. It was fun, it was exciting. I was on a bunch of interviews also. And uh, besides all of that, the program was a beautiful, amazing experience. I grew as a performer, as a singer. I experienced what it is to be on TV. Um, it was amazing. I really loved it. I would do it again. And um, yeah, then after the program, I actually uh, decided to put musical theater on the shelf or in the fridge and focus on being my own artist. And, you know, I then became a freelance singer. Uh, I sang at, I've sung and I sing at weddings, um, bars, restaurants, festivals. I've done, oh my God, so many different venues, like singing for 10 people, singing for 10,000 people, not exaggerating. And uh, it's been really great. Uh, I actually really focused on Latin music for a while because one other song was Despacito during the program. That went really well. And I had the feeling that, you know, that's what people like. And it also made me feel like more in touch with my Venezuelan roots. And so I went down that road for a while. Really exciting. Latin festivals, reggaeton producers, Latin artists in Holland. Made great friendships, wonderful experiences. That was going well. At some point, I also went to Miami. Made some great connections there. And I thought, okay, that's the way to go. So when I came back to Holland, I uh, it was also COVID, by the way during that time. So all my jobs had been like canceled. I had no income, uh, only some government aid from Holland. And uh, I thought, okay, if I need to move to Miami and I just have government aid, then I need to take off, you know, the, the biggest expense, which is rent. I moved to my mom's place, got an office job, lovely people, great place. Uh, also made great friends, even some Colombian friends, which I love, Alu and Dani. During that job, I actually also got the opportunity to um, work at a dinner show called Leo. 
uh, that's a whole different story. I actually went on vacation with Julianne's family, my ex, and I sort of auditioned there and then I got the job there. Like, we want you tomorrow. I was like, I can't do that. I have a job, <laughs> like with a company car and everything. Um, and um, yeah, I went to Mykonos uh, last summer, 2021. And at the time of my life, like after a year and a half of having no jobs, of having like an identity crisis, it's like, if I don't sing, who am I? Went to therapy for that. It was great. Um, it was also a great reminder that I love singing different genres, like not only Latin, not only musical, pop, pop rock, many things. Unfortunately, that adventure was cut short due to a scooter accident. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you also probably saw that as well. I am lucky to be alive. It actually, yeah, really got me thinking too. In, in the hospital, like, okay, wait, what am I doing? What is the plan? What is, what is the goal? Why do I want it? I realized that even though I really like Latin music and, and I enjoy how much other people like it too. Uh, yeah, I decided since then to make music that really comes from my heart, from my story. And uh, that's what we're working on this year. I came back to Holland. I got myself a place in Amsterdam and I got into a cover band here in Holland. Uh, we cover a bunch of different artists. Like we cover top 40 songs, we cover Queen, we cover uh, Latin songs, we cover 90 songs. like the whole range everything you can imagine which is lovely because as i said before um during leo i was reminded that i i love being able to and having to sing different things because it, it challenges me as as a singer and uh, i'm also uh, in this french company called inspiration they send uh singers and musicians to different weddings and events uh, all over Europe and the world. So you'll be seeing snippets of those gigs also from time to time in the coming vlogs. So that's like a really, really, really compact summary of the last four years. Lots has happened. I'm really happy I'm alive. And I want to share that with you. I want to share you the adventures I'm going to go on. Um, I've been actually filming since December. Right now, as I record this, it's end of April. And yeah, I need to get into this whole filming thing again. Like I see it, I'm like, oh, this is awkward. And I feel like uh, I need to get over myself. Actually, that's like the summer, that's the point of it. I need to get over the fact that I have to get used to filming again. Uh, I see also like looking back on the recordings that I put on this weird voice and I'm like, it's like I'm trying to be like this Disney characters like, whoa, wow, love Paris. But yeah, I promise it'll get better. Just here to share, give you a little bit of a, an inside look on the whole process of, yeah, my way to releasing the music that I really want and uh, all the beautiful experiences that happen in between. So thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm really looking forward to this interaction. And if you watched all the way till the end of this video, thank you so much. Please help me out by hitting the like button and stay tuned. Stay tuned for more.